We're here to celebrate the life of a man named Max Kemper. He came here from Berlin, Germany, 100 years ago. And maybe he came to Mammoth Cave, just like a lot of you folks, as a visitor. But once he went inside the cave, he was captivated. And he knew that something was calling him, beckoning him, inside the cave. His stay of a few days, and maybe up to a week, would turn into eight months. And over this eight-month stay, he would map and explore and produce a map that has become legendary uh, within the last 100 years, simply known as the Kemper Map. Uh, his map showed 35 miles of cave passageways, many of them brand new discoveries by Max Kemper and Ed Bishop. So we're celebrating 100 years of the history and tradition of Max Kemper. Members of the Kemper family have traveled across the ocean to come back to Mammoth Cave, Kentucky. They're with us here today. Uh, the grandson of Max Kemper, a man named Klaus, will be playing the cello. And our own cave guide and wild caver, a pianist named Janet Bass Smith, will be performing in the Methodist Church. So we're going to stop at the entrance. We're going to learn a little bit more about this celebration. Uh, on behalf of Mammoth Cave, though, thank you very much for attending. Uh, I think we're in for a memorable experience. If you would please, follow me. For a second, just take a look at the line of folks coming down the hill. I'd like to think that Max Kemper would be very proud. So many folks have shown up to celebrate. Just keep on coming down, everybody. We're going to fill in this area. Just try to squeeze in as best you can. I know it looks like we won't fit, but indeed we will. We will fill up the Mammoth Cave today. I would like to take this moment here to acknowledge that the superintendent of Mammoth Cave National Park is with us here today. If you could say hello to Mr. Pat Reed. Again, I want to take this moment to say thank you and welcome to Mammoth Cave National Park. My name is Chuck DeCroy, park ranger here. We're gathered at the historic entrance, the largest natural opening known to Mammoth Cave. And immediately you feel something unique here. You feel the cold air issuing out of the ground. Uh, this is exactly what Max Kemper experienced 100 years ago. Uh, back in 1908, this was the only known entrance to Mammoth Cave. So every cave tour, every mapping trip had to come in this entrance. No matter how far they went or what they did, they would have to backtrack and come back out this way. So it made for some incredibly long and very interesting cave tours. 4,000 years ago, the first humans entered this entrance. They were the Native American Indians. They began to systematically explore the cave, collecting crystals and salts from within. And we find that throughout the history of Mammoth Cave, there's some element of curiosity and mystery that seems to be luring people in here, even up to the present. We're going to be walking through a whole lot of history here. We're going to go through a large chamber known as the Rotunda. And as we walk through that room, take a look down, and you'll see some wooden artifacts. These are the leaching vats. Uh, they are original. They've been in the cave since the early 1800s, used to produce saltpeter back prior to and during the war of 1812. Notice how perfectly preserved they are. That's when we leave the electrically lit part of our activity. And we'll go down the boardwalk by lantern light. There are some stairs near the end of the boardwalk, so please be very, very careful. And then we'll be gathering in a chamber called the Methodist Church. To walk into the cave and experience music is truly a once-in-a-lifetime event. And it has been going on here at Mammoth Cave since the early days of cave tours. Uh, there was a place in the cave found on the old maps known as the ballroom. And the references indicate that they used to have a wooden dance floor. And bands would play in the cave and men and women would come dancing by lantern light. We have the annual cave sing 
where we have music performed. The first Sunday in December, I believe this year it falls on December 7th. So that is free, open to the public, usually starts around 1 or 2 in the afternoon. We encourage you to come out for that as well. Marriages have taken place. Uh, music and acoustics and echoes, it's all part of it, and it's really going to sound great today. Does anybody have a question before we work our way down into the cave and into the Methodist Church where I will introduce the performers and maybe tell you a little bit more about the story? Thank you. 